What's up you guys? All right, so Tyler and I just got back from Vegas. So now we're back with Ed. I miss him so much. He was parked at the airport while we were gone. We're in like the Laguna area right now, just kind of hanging out and exploring here. Yeah, so that's what's up. So we're hanging out in Laguna before we head over to Coachella, which is east of here. We have a lot of things that we need to do before going to Coachella. Very last minute decided that we're gonna go, so. A lot of you guys were asking like, how do we stay clean in the van? Just basically, how do we live in this thing? So we wanna show you guys that kind of stuff. Um, one thing that we do is we go to gyms all the time. Okay, so we had to park like really far away from the gym because Ed is a little bit tall and we couldn't really fit in the parking garage. So we have to walk up to the gym. AT&T Ed, parked right next to us. Right. We like parking next to other Eds. We're going to Lifetime right now. It's just nice because like they have towels and it's like the cleanest of all the gyms. So it's like more expensive, but I feel like it's worth it. And then sometimes we also go to like 24 hour or whatever we need to. We obviously have our own towels, but this way we don't have to wash ours and stuff. It's a lot easier to just use theirs. They have literally everything you need to take a shower in there. So as you can see, it's fucking massive. Lots of fancy people go here. We don't really fit in, but it's all right. <laughs> so that's one way that we stay clean. Um, you can also obviously take showers like at beaches and stuff like this. And then like you guys know, we were just in Vegas and so obviously we were in a hotel and we could shower there. So. We find ways to take showers. <laughs> and then other than that, we just wanna show you guys inside of the van, what we've kind of done in there because we've figured out kind of how to organize it. And then yeah, we'll just show you guys like what else we have to do. Living in a van is still like very normal life stuff. Like we still have to do laundry. We still have to organize and clean up and stuff like that. Right now we're at the beach and we're just gonna tan because we have to be tan for Coachella. <laughs> we don't really have to, but we want to. So we decided that we're gonna go head over towards Palm Springs now. That way we can just like hang out, get all of our shit done. We're just gonna stay there up until Coachella. Good morning. Hopefully you can hear me. My mic's kind of far away. <laughs> Last night we drove out basically towards Palm Springs. Excuse the mess in the background still. We haven't gotten around to fixing that. It's getting hotter, so we're trying to like get some chores done and then just like lay out by the pool for a little while before it gets too freaking hot. They have a laundry facility here, which is super legit. Last time we did laundry, it was just in like a regular laundromat. It's kind of expensive here, I think, but it's super convenient, so it's nice. So this is my laundry bag. And I like to use these gain flings because I feel like it's just easy and makes it smell really good. And then we always need quarters now. Tyler's laundry bag. Drinking that champagne bang. Champagne rosé. Rosé. It's actually quite windy today, which is really nice because it makes it be not so hot. So yeah, I mean, if you've never done laundry in one of these, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just put your shit in there, you put the quarters in there, and you run it. Yeah. Oh, I almost dumped all the quarters in there. <laughs> that would have been a pain in the butt. We're just combining ours today because it will be cheaper that way. Blacks, whites, I don't really need today. Rich. Wait, do I have to do this twice? That's only 150. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It says 250, but I only put, only put 125. What? Apparently, I don't know how to do this. We just needed to put two in each slot. Brilliant. Okay. So the laundry's done, and I'm just picking up the things that I don't want to put in the dryer. But what you always gotta remember is you check this. Well, That's a non pull out I one. I can't pull it out. So yeah, you just scoop your hand in there. Did you already do it? No. Okay. So yeah, you get all this shit out and you throw it away. And you get it and throw your shit in there and dry it. Yeah. Sweet. 
And then to dry these, you just run around like this. And then they dry. What's up, you guys? This is MTV Mobile Edition. Here we go. It's windy, so these doors kind of slam shut, and there's going to be dust flying all around. So this is the entrance. This is one of four entrances to the home. As you can see, right when you walk in, we have water because you can never have enough water when you're traveling. Also, if we're in somewhere where we don't have running water, this is like an extra one because it's just spring water, so it doesn't taste very good. Um, you can brush your teeth with it. You could rinse off a dish. You could get your hair wet, whatever you want to do. Behind here, just kind of like stashed, we have dirty laundry, okay? We don't, nobody needs to go near that. Right here, we got the Yeti. A lot of people were like, don't waste your money on a Yeti, but I have to say, this thing has done a very good job. Carrots, almond milk. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> Woo! There's no choke. Ah! I'm gonna show you guys really quick the lights. We have one here. You can turn on like that, which I do all the time on accident because I hit my head on it. We also have this. It's really bright, but not right now. And it magnetizes anywhere we want. We also have these bungee cords up here that are for hanging sheets and stuff, laundry or whatever. <gasps> There's a bug on this one. Tyler devised this genius plan. Actually, he devised 99% of the stuff that's going on in here. Over here, we have a garbage which is very conveniently located. Actually, I really like that thing. And up here, these are Velcroed. We figured out that Velcroing is like the best solution in here. These aren't gonna move anywhere unless we really want them to. Um, and we just have like food, um, some plastic paper plates, and you know, stuff like this, soy sauce, cause <laughs> we really like that kind of stuff. This is also Velcroed shut. We just have more food in there. And then same thing on the other side, but it's just like papers and whatever, that kind of stuff in there. Under here, we have underwear. <laughs> His is all folded and mine is like that. Um, so those fit perfectly. Oh, this is, this is probably my favorite thing. Our contacts cases are up there because they're so small and we kept losing them. Now we never lose them. It's freaking awesome. Yay. In these drawers, we just have like Beauty products, like face wipes, body wipes for when we don't get the chance to hit the shower. Just a backup. My makeup bag is right here. It's also bungeed here so that it can't go anywhere, which is great. And then we found these that fit perfectly right here. This is Tyler's, mine's the massive one. And it just has like anything that might spill and make a mess or, you don't get my feet. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Hair stuff that I don't use very often, but I do still need it for like when I'm traveling and stuff. And then under here, okay, please excuse Ed. He is dirty because as you guys saw, it's a freaking windy dust storm out here. We decided to use gym duffel bags, bags, duffel bags as our uh, storage for the clothes because it's just easy to move them around and stuff. You can be squished together, you can fill them up a lot or just a little and then they just take up that much space. So I have like my pants one, my tops one, and then this is like my gym bag my actual gym bag. This is the bed and then for now we just have these that we're using to put up for when we're sleeping. We'll probably devise a better like velcro situation eventually but we haven't done it yet. Antibacterial hand wipes up front. Always have a bunch of water up there too. Backpack with like all my electronics and stuff is usually up front with me so that I can like switch out a battery in the camera or whatever I need to do. So let's see the back. Welcome to Ed's butt. All right, first off, as you can see, this is where we put our spare water. And we've been filling up those waters at Glacier Things because it's only 40 cents. Tyler per filled, gallon. filled me in on that, so it's saving a lot of money. This is my laundry bag. It's back here for right now. Because it smells. Just kidding. Yeah, it's a little stinky. Got my normal clothes bag, gym bag. This is like, oh shit. Oh, we got a problem. Tools, fire starter, Velcro, pad, duct tape. This was in the cooler, so I just kind of got to throw that away. Extra bang. Extra bang. Workout. Some protein. My backpack. Awesome. Osprey. Oh, so good. Spare suitcase. 
Then get get on in here right here. We got two extra backpacks. Oh, I gotta let it focus. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. We got two extra backpacks. One is full of anywhere gym workout stuff like bands and plates and weights and whatever. Yeah. And then we got a, a bag full of bikinis. It's just all bikinis. <laughs> Spare storage suitcase. This is where like jackets and shoes. We got spare shoes. Here's a, as you can see, bang. We've got a little storage case. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> got some more water. Like way back there, we got some shoes that are just tucked up under there. These are mine. Aww. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the butt. Just so you guys know, um, he wanted his stuff back here, okay? <laughs> No. Not true? What happened is, I got kicked out of the van. I had to sleep outside one night. <laughs> so it was just easier to put my stuff back here. We're about to have a freaking tornado in Palm Springs. We would be able to like have a lot less stuff in the van if it wasn't for like my job and like the amount of traveling that we have to do. But since I do actually have to like dress up and kind of look cute sometimes, I need things like those heels and like a big suitcase and like extra storage for cuter nicer clothes yeah i think we did pretty good we don't have that much shit in there i think we did a good job and i think we'll learn a lot more about what we need to have in there and what we don't and um, how to really maximize the space hopefully you guys enjoyed the little tour so right now i'm gonna make like a wrap that i've been eating lately because a lot of people are curious about what kind of food we eat in here and we eat super simple sorry my my other swimsuit's drying up there. Sorry, it's also windy. <laughs> when I travel and stuff like that, I get the opportunity to eat like really amazing food. So I don't really mind just eating simple and cheap when I'm not traveling. Well, I am always traveling, but when I'm in the van. So it's gonna be these tortillas, some spinach, lentils. You can get these bags of like pre-made lentils at Trader Joe's organic buffalo style hummus. It's so freaking good. And honestly, that's it. And sometimes I'd put like chicken or some kind of meat in there, but I'm not gonna do it this time. Oh, this is actually that. too Holy big, dang it. Shit, that's massive. <laughs> How did it get so big? <laughs> okay, whatever, it's gonna work. Okay, no. Just force it. Ta-da! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> Okay, so maybe, maybe the government doesn't use those to push clouds around, but what I'm thinking is that I think that they, they move the earth. They spin the earth. The government's lying to us about those, I think. Sounds logical to me. So that's pretty much all we have for you guys for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching as always. We seriously appreciate it. Sorry it took us a little while to get the video up. We got super caught up with like Coachella and just life. We got a little behind. But if you're curious about what's coming in the future, right now we're in Nevada, just kind of like hanging out. Really, airplane. And our next stop is Mexico again. So we'll probably have a Mexico vlog for you. And then after that, we're going to Cape Town, South Africa. And this is one of my like all time top destinations I've wanted to visit. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and we'll definitely have some videos from there. We are definitely gonna miss Ed because it's gonna be kind of a long time away from him. But um, he'll be waiting for us and then we can pick back up where we left off. Make sure you guys are subscribed, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. All right, peace. Thank you.